What's happening, viewers and viewers? This is your boy, Big Mike, coming at you again. Um, this time, I'm doing an impromptu paranormal video because I want to talk about something that happened uh, just within the last couple days um, that's kind of freaky. Now, um, about four days ago, my beautiful friend Jesse and I, Jesse can be seen here, um, we were talking about paranormal subjects. And um, I brought up to her how some people believe that automobiles and houses have personalities. I don't necessarily believe that. She thought it was a bunch of shit. But with what happened in the last couple days, or should I say day, well, yeah, a couple days, Completely changed my mind on that. So, yesterday, my dad and I went to a store in his relatively brand new used car. Uh, he drives a 2016 Chevy Impala now. Um, but a couple months ago, he traded in two vehicles for this new car or used car. And um, it's run fine. It's no problems with it, nothing. Yesterday, when we were at the dollar store, I had just walked out of the store and I saw a car, a uh, 2002 Toyota Camry, same color, pull in right next to, literally right next to my dad's car. And I turned around and laughed because I said, you know, Hey, what are the coincidences that, you know, your old car was here? Well, it was his old car. And I looked down by the rocker panels near the back, had a little rust patch. Okay, some cars get the same rust in the same areas, but how identical can that be? Well, when I looked in the windshield, the two Velcro strips for our Easy Pass was still there. So I said to the lady who was driving the car, did you just buy this? And she said something about her cousin or somebody did just a few weeks ago. She gave the name of the dealership where she got them from and or where he got them from. And he also got a uh, an SUV with it. And that's what my dad turned in. Well, on the way home from the store yesterday, the radio in the car started acting up. You couldn't, you could turn the knobs, the station would turn, but the volume wasn't working, and um, the screen wasn't um, changing. The screen still said, you know, whatever the station was, but you could change the station, but you couldn't lower the volume, and the screen froze. Okay, I said to my dad, well, when we get home, pretty much, you know, shut off the motor, you know, let it sit, everything will be fine. We go out today, the radio is fine, nothing like yesterday happened. But, shortly after we started um, heading out today, I heard a, the alarm on the car, the whatever, warning, saw lights on the dashboard check engine light, a couple other things. And that's never happened. I mean, the car's only been with us a couple of months, but we've had no problems in that time. When my dad's old car parks next to his new one, and now all of a sudden we're having trouble with this, I mean, that, that seems like too much of a coincidence. I mean, that's freaking weird if you ask me now this isn't the first time this kind of a thing happened going back maybe 10 or 11 years or so um my dad had a different kind of car he had a little oldsmobile something or other and um we were driving not far from home but far enough and um he kind of mentioned, he goes, well, this car's been good to me. 
I think I might uh, get a new one, though. We stopped at a red light. That car died. It was something with the fuel pump or whatever, some kind of a, I think, what, a bobber in the in the fuel tank or whatever. Um, but, I mean, what the hell are the odds of something like that happening right after he just gets done mentioning that he wants to trade the car in? I mean, that is freaking creepy, is it not? So, we had to have a cousin of ours come and take us home that day. And um, my dad got that car fixed. And then we had a car accident sometime later. I don't know how much later it was. but So, that car got totaled. But, I mean, what are the odds that you would mention you wanting to get a new car and then your car that you're driving in die on you all of a sudden? So, please, anybody who's watching this, um, let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you. Comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate everybody doing this. Um, and I'll be back another time with some more Jason masks that I'm doing. Um, I hope to get a bunch of them in and start selling them locally. Uh, so... Thanks, everybody, for watching.